receive a phone call. And the question was, Pastor, will you come and pray with us at my grandma's bedside because she's ill? Of course, I said yes. And I was on my way to visit the family. Couldn't help but think why they would call me. I mean, the family has transferred and they love their pastor, they love their new congregation, and they enjoy the fellowship. Why would they call me? So I go into the house, we have prayer, we visit, we spend time together, and a little boy takes a shine to me. So in our conversation and back and forth, I asked him, why did you call me? And he looked up at me and said, Well, we do. We love our new pastor. That is why we called you. We didn't want him to get what grandma has. <laughs> We're called all the time to serve, to minister. The glory of God is the fuel of the ministry we share. The very presence of God is necessary. Absolutely. Without the presence of Jesus Christ shining, they're just notes that you hear. It's just words that we speak or pray. It's just food that we share or time spent together. The ministry of Jesus Christ is fueled by the glory of God. And it makes things and people and time and activities different. Valuably different. It's the glory of God shining in the midst of a fellowship, in the midst of kindness, in the midst of time shared, in the midst of words or singing or notes. It's the glory of God shining brightly in the midst of a world that sometimes remembers and oftentimes forgets. Purpose for being is to reflect the glory of God. So three were called. James and John, those rowdy brothers, and Peter. Do you ever wonder why the others weren't called to follow up the Mount of Transfiguration and to be with Jesus? If Jesus really wanted to get this word out, how about the multitude that were chasing and hunting and just hungry to have him heal them, help them? No multitude. No crowd. Just three. And I imagine, and you have yourself seen, that God's glory doesn't always shine for the masses. The transfiguration sometimes is just very quiet. Well, we're alone with Jesus. His face shines. His presence brightens the reality that we call life. Transfigures our mortal selves. Changes our offerings. So that it's not just money or an activity or a sacrifice. It's a participation in the glory of God. It changes us. It changes everything we have. When our ministry is defined by the very presence of Jesus Christ, it does cause us to laugh and weep. It causes us to be joy-filled and then crushed by the loneliness. All together. But the Lord has called us, his brothers and sisters, 
And we're grateful. Last year, two fellows climbed, free climbed El Capitan. So we're taking a trip now. We're going to a mountain. It's 3,000 feet tall. It's a big rock granite mountain in Yosemite. And that's where Yogi Bear was. No. Where was Yogi Bear? Yellowstone. <laughs> Jellystone. <laughs> ah, this is Yosemite. All right. El Capitan. We're ready to climb it. Okay. These two guys, Tommy and Kevin, first ones, only ones, to ever successfully climb this granite face. Some places of the mountain that they were climbing were as sheer as that brick wall right there. And they were holding on to it, free climbing. They tore skin. They broke bones. They <coughs> failed. They, they fell. It took them five years to climb El Capitan. Look it up. This time I'm not joking. Or is it? <laughs> no, they really did. They really climbed this mountain. 3,000 feet. Incredible. Took them five years. They failed often. And at one point in an interview, I don't know if it was Tommy or Kevin, he said, I have a new appreciation for three things. Patience, perseverance, and desire. Now think of five years from today. What mountain would you like to climb? Who would be your partner in this venture? You're going to have skin torn, bones broken. There will be failures. But the goal, the mountain, is before us. Desire will be rekindled and ignited in the face of despair. Patience will be given. As things happen that we don't understand, we don't appreciate, we don't care for. But we will persevere. Not because we're obsessed with El Capitan. But because we're simply God's children. And he loves us perfectly. And he shines his light into our lives. And we reflect that light with the activities that we share. So let's put together a clear vision of the mountain before us. And as brothers and sisters, let us climb it for the glory of God. For his light, his light alone, to fuel us in the activities we call ministry. Jesus' name, amen. amen.